Okay guys, so the dually's getting a bit of a, a headlight overhaul. Uh, I got new, uh, new headlights, uh, new parking lights for it. Um, these are, I got some smoked um, lights, smoked, uh, I don't know what brand they are, they're just off eBay, they're, they're pretty cheap. Um, this is what I had for my parking lights. Uh, this is what I got here. Um, maybe they're not quite as dark as what's on there, but uh, we'll see. I can always make them darker if I don't like it. Or, or go back to these. Uh, kind of the reason I'm getting rid of these is you've probably noticed in some of the videos that some of the LEDs are going out on this. Um, and that's what usually happens with these. Uh, they last about uh, two years maybe. And then they start having troubles. So, um, you know, every two years or so I usually do a a light swap around. So, um, this is my uh, annual swap, I guess. But anyway, you can see uh, these hold regular bulbs again. Now these, they're all built in LEDs and you just plug these in. So there really are no bulbs. Um, so I'm going with LED. I've got a white LED for the daytime running light. Um, and another thing with those old lights is I had to disconnect the daytime running light because uh, they were flickering. And uh, so I'm gonna have my daytime running lights back, which I kind of like. But anyway, um, got LED bulbs for my my uh, parking lights and turn signals and. Um, you're going to need to add a resistor to these uh, lights, otherwise uh, you're going to get what's known as a hyper flash. And uh, how you hook this up is um, you're going to hook the, the negative wire, which is the black one on these Chevy trucks, and um, the per turn signal, which is the blue wire. Um, on this side anyway, on these GM trucks. And you gotta hook them together uh, with the resistor. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't have the resistor, because on this side, I don't have the resistor. So I'm gonna turn the uh, turn signals on and we're gonna show you uh, why you have to put a resistor in there. Okay, so this is the side uh, without the resistor. And you can see um, what's happening there. I'm going to turn the other side on and uh, I'll show you uh, the side with the resistor. Okay, so this is the side that I put the resistor on. You can see it uh, turns it back into a normal flash, not the hyper flash. And again, you're going from the turn signal and you're connecting the ground on that. So uh, what, what the resistor does is it's tricking the it's tricking the, the wire into thinking that it's got a regular halogen bulb. These LEDs do not draw enough power and what it thinks is is that the, the bulb is out. And when you get a, a, ball, a burnt out bulb you get the hyper flash which let you know that you have a bulb out so you can change it. Um, so that side's fixed. I got a wire in this side. Okay, another tip here. Those resistors, when you buy them from like eBay and stuff, they come with uh, connectors like this. Um, these, are, these are really a last resort uh, for connecting something. Um, these are known to uh, corrode and fail and cause problems. Um, so it's, it's best to, to cut the wires and um, wire in a weatherproof uh, connector uh, when you're putting those resistors in. These are, are pretty much junk. Okay, so just like every cheap eBay light I've ever bought, gotta do a little bit of modifications. Um, the, the lights uh, seem to be uh, screwing 
or, or locking into the uh, housing is okay. Uh, but my parking light turn signal is a little loose. So um, I'm having to make another gasket to go on top of the original gasket to give me a nice tight uh, fit. Also seal that light up. Uh, if that light is not sealed up and it gets moisture in there, I mean, it's going to wreck everything. It's going to wreck the bulbs. It's going to wreck the housing. Uh, moisture in the housing is bad. So, Okay, so the parking lights are installed. Uh, pretty happy with them. Uh, the housing snapped in really nice. Sometimes uh, that's a struggle too for these cheaper uh, eBay lights, but they snapped in real good. Um, you know, having to make a little gasket uh, for these uh, twist on housings, you know, that ain't bad. Um, that's pretty easy to do. And I just used some uh, old uh, um, inner tubes. So you could probably use bicycle um, inner tubes if you had them. Anything rubber. Um, I do need to get um, corner markers. I didn't have no LEDs and I forgot to order them so I'll have to get them in LEDs. But uh, really happy with, uh, with them so let's move on to the headlights. Okay so another tip when you're uh, doing this kind of stuff, go to the auto parts store get you a big tube of this. And whenever you unplug something, I don't care what it is, something electrical, if you unplug it, put a dab of this on there before you plug it back in. Um, this is great stuff to use. Okay, so there's the uh, headlights. Again, they're the same um, smoked headlights. They're not a projector. Uh, they're just a standard lens. I'm not real fond of those projector headlights. Just never really, never really did like them. Um, these fit okay. Something seems to be wrong with this driver's side. The adjuster's broke. Um, I took a picture of it. I'm going to be sending it to the uh, eBay seller because um, that ain't no good. Um, and it's sitting funny right now. I don't know. There's something wrong with that light. Um, so um, I'll be getting back to that. But again, typical uh, eBay cheap lights. Um, you better have yourself a little file. Uh, I had to file off some of the uh, plastic casting to get my bulbs in because they didn't get it all off and the bulbs wouldn't go in. Um, and the uh, other than that, uh, I guess they went okay. Uh, they fit. They fit okay, uh, as good as aftermarket lights are going to fit. You got to push the pins. Sometimes you got to wiggle the pins to get them back in. But uh, all in all, um, if I get a replacement for that broken uh, adjustment on that side, um, they're okay lights. For what I paid for them, you know, I'll be happy with them here for a little while. So there's the headlights on. And again, I'm running the, those LED lights from uh, Oxbeam. And uh, they're really nice. It's a really nice white light. Kind of uh, looks a little blurry there in the, uh, the video, but it's a, it's a really nice white light in real life, so. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video here. I'll probably be uh, adding some uh, pics at the end of uh, what I've got here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.